Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Anya and in today's video I will be sharing with you my empties in beauty for November and October. It's been really slow, I had 7 empties in October, 7 empties in November. It's been pretty slow, progress is progress and I've used up a couple of things. I have started my collection declutter, it's going to be up in about a week and a half, two-ish weeks. And anything I have decluttered, I will just include in my December empties because I don't want to spoil anything for that video. But I have decluttered and I've gotten through about a third. I've done all of my base and face products about a third of the way through. I'm doing fairly well with it, I feel like. But let's just jump through what I have in here. I am retiring my Real Techniques sponge. I've been using it for months. I have one or two more, so it's time for this one to be done. I tend to buy them in like multi-packs because they end up being cheaper per sponge than having to constantly buy singles. And they are my favourite sponge and I apply pretty much foundation only with the sponge if I'm using liquid foundation, so I love that one. I finished my Makeup Mecca Hello Pretty Powder Foundation. I used the shade Marshmallow. I am wearing it today. I really like it. It's medium coverage. I do end up a little bit shiny throughout the day with it, so I don't stay matte all throughout the day. But it's my go-to for when I want something quick, when I want something easy, and I love how it looks because it doesn't emphasise dryness or texture. I finally finished my Ordinary 100% Cold Pressed Virgin Marula Oil. I feel very so-so about this. My skin has not had the best of luck with the oils from the Ordinary. I have tried this one and the Rosehip one, I think. My skin didn't really like either. I was able to finish this though. It's now done. I've gone back to my old trusted Chorus Wild Roast Oil, which my face loves. I finished a pack of Simple Cleansing Wipes. I like these. I bought them when I ran out. I don't have Simple right now. I ended up buying the ones from Formula 1006 because I also really like those. And they were cheaper. Another serum I finished is the 4th Ray Beauty Rainfall Serum. This is a hyaluronic acid serum. I feel very so-so about hyaluronic acid serums. I don't think they do all that much for my face so I just I'm not gonna buy this again and I tend to just not buy them if I can find a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid in it I will use that instead and I just with serums I struggle because it adds an extra step in my both either morning or evening or both of my routines and I don't really have the energy for that so I'm trying to slowly eliminate my serums and if I can find like one that works for anything and everything and I can use that. Otherwise I'm just sticking to washing my face and putting moisturiser and sunscreen on and using a face oil in the evening. And that tends to work pretty great for my face. I have noticed that my skin likes less skincare. The fewer steps, the better it behaves over time, and also the more likely I am to stick to it. I do like the occasional face mask though, and I prefer sheet masks when my skin is a little bit dry because it just adds a boost of moisture, and my skin seems to love most sheet masks. I finished one from Makeup Mecca, this is the Moisture Boost Vegan Sheet Mask. I really like it. That was my dog leaving. I really like it, I used multiples of it, I have more because I bought a set of like six a couple of months ago. I like using them every now and then and I think they're just great for giving my skin a little bit of extra boost and I love using it when my skin is a little bit drier. I also finished these Gooden Academy Cucumber Eye Sheet Masks. They were shaped like, like a masquerade mask. I hated these. The mask and like the serum itself was fine but the, the sheet masks were really difficult to get out of the packaging. This was a pack of three and I'm not going to buy them again. I also don't think you can get this brand um, anymore near me. I'm fine just using a regular sheet mask. I have a couple of like gel eye patches and I don't really love those either. They don't tend to do much for me. I finished a mini NYX This Is Everything lip oil. This is in Cranberry Mint. It's from a advent calendar a couple of years ago. I really like these lip oils from NYX. I think they are really nice, really nice and hydrating. They feel nice, they don't wear off very quickly and they are fairly affordable. 
I am currently using F1 and I think I'm going to go back to these mixed ones because I really do like them and so do my lips and I have very dry lips. I finished two lip liners from Makeup Mecca. These are the shades number three and six in their lip liner on point. Number three is a light beige nude colour. It's my go-to nude when I don't want something that is super light. Number six is a brown colour that I also really, really like. It has a bit of red to it. It's not what I'm wearing right now but I was wearing this earlier today and I really do like it. I do also really like the formulation. They are retractable lip liners. They are creamy, easy to apply, full colour. You can wear them as lipsticks and they wear a really long time. I think they're great. I got rid of my Isadora mascara. This was in my project pan. I think I got rid of this last month. It's fine, but it's starting to dry up and getting a little bit difficult to use. So I think it's just past its prime. I also decluttered a couple of items here last month. The Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighter in Monarch has dried out. Unfortunately, this is a light pink colour with multicoloured glitters really pretty to add to the eyes. I also had to get rid of my pink colour corrector from Makeup Mecca because it's gone off. I really do like this. I'm currently using a one from Becca, but I think I'm gonna go back to this one because it's a tone that works really well for my skin. It's very pale and it's just perfect to just throw a little bit in the inner corner and that deals with the blue and the purple that I have under my eyes really well. And it doesn't look heavy or cakey and I really like it. As I said, not a lot. There's going to be a lot more for next month, that's for sure. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you finish anything in November, let me know what you finished and how you feel about them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. Bye!